Hi guys, I'm Tanvi Dakshit. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm off on another adventure to Nagaland. I have been so excited about this trip for the longest time. I'm right now at the Guwahati airport and I'm waiting to board my flight. I'm flying on an Air India flight from Guwahati to Dimapur. Uh, it's about a one hour long flight. So I'm going to land there about 1.30 in the afternoon and I'm going to see you guys there. Hi guys, I just landed at uh, the Dimapur airport. Just walked outside and the weather is beautiful. Look at this, it's like drizzling slightly and uh, the weather is like very, very pleasant. And I met a few uh, people from my group. That's Anshit, Abha, Srina and Asian guy. <laughs> Asian guy. Hi, Asian guy. What's your Hello. name? <laughs> Hello. What do you do? Are you local from here? Yeah, I'm a local. Okay. I'm a local guy. You're from which town in Nagaland? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm like, I am permanent from Dimapur from itself. Yeah, from Dimapur okay. Itself. So what, what are some uh, places that you recommend that I go to? Uh, you should go to Kohima. Kohima. And, like there is a lot of places in like you know in Nagaland to go visit. Mm -hmm. But then like most of the people come here to like you know, to visit Zuku Valley. You know. Yeah. 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 We are. We are. So we have okay. like a two day a two day trek planned for Zuku Valley. Okay. So yeah. <laughs> Cool, thank you so much for joining us on the video. Okay. We have loaded our stuff in the car and we are headed to Kohima today. It's, it's going to be like a two hours uh, drive from here to reach Kohima. And then basically I think today is just going to be about like reaching Kohima and then chilling for a bit, maybe going to a couple of cafes, Aspas me. So let's see, the weather is beautiful. I think the drive is also going to be equally beautiful. So we have taken a break for lunch. We are on the National Highway 29 on our way to Kohima and we have stopped at this restaurant called uh, Midway Hotel where there are a Naga specialties. I am super excited to try out the food. So this is their menu. Okay, so I asked them for what their specialty is. Now, the first item on that menu is uh, smoked pork with akuni. Okay, so akuni, a lot of people have uh, recommended this to me that when you're in Nagaland, you have to try akuni. Akuni is basically like a fermented, fermented soya bean sort of a thing. But I'm thinking I will try that in Kohima because uh, uh, a local that I met at the airport told me that Kohima will have better options. So, here I have ordered for their fresh pork curry with naga ginger and dried bamboo shoot. That sounds amazing. I've, uh, I've uh, ordered that with a side of rice. Okay, my first meal here in Nagaland. I have ordered for their uh, fresh pork curry and it looks fabulous. It looks like it's going to be super hot. Yeah, actually they have uh, served this sort of like a thali. The pork curry is actually really, really flavorful and hot at the same time. The pork is quite tender, very nicely cooked. The rice and pork curry combination is going really well with the side salad that they've given, which has like green chilies and onions and tomatoes. Like it's super fresh. And of course, the Nagra chili chutney is perfectly complementing the meal. After that absolutely delicious meal, we are now heading back to the car and uh, we will again be on our way to Kohima. Say hi! <laughs> so cute! <laughs> So guys, I have uh, found this like local vegetable market sorts and I see a lot of unique things there. So she is, what's your name? Anita. She's Anita and she's going to she's gonna show me around. Uh, Anita, can you just tell me what all, which chilies are these? Hindi se bolo. Ah, Hindi aata hai? Chik hai, okay. Kaun se chilies hai ye? Raja. Naga Raja. Naga Raja chilies, okay. Naga Raja chilies and ye? Ye is not dry. Dried version of that. So, what is this? 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 What is this?
क्या है ये बम्बू सूप बम्बू सूप ओके और इसका क्या क्या बनता है बैंबू इसका मांग सूप से भी हलवा सब्जी में सब सब मिलाई के सो दिस वर सम नागा स्पेशलिटी वेजिटेबल्स यू हैव द नागा चिली एंड यू हैव द लेमन सॉर्ट ऑफ अ थिंग दैट आई टेस्टेड देन दे आल्सो हैव naga dal uh, chutneys which you can just which is like a naga dal that actually is had with rice also but it, this is more like a dry preparation of that then you have uh, bananas and then um, uh, the specialty here of course is the bamboo shoot which you can buy and which you can cook in uh, sabzis or other food preparations ओके गाइज आई जस्ट चेकड इन टू माई नागालैंड प्रॉपर्टी एंड ओ माई गॉड दिस हैज टू बी वन ऑफ द क्यूटेस्ट स्टेज आई हैव एवर बिन एट दिस इज नॉट लाइक अ रियली बिग होटल ओके इट्स अ वेरी हम्बल लाइक अ स्मॉल प्रॉपर्टी अ बंगलो सॉर्ट ऑफ अ स्ट्रक्चर विद जस्ट लाइक थ्री फोर स्मॉल रूम्स बट every room is done up to the t like every corner is so nicely decorated it has this old school vintage kind of vibe behind me is the living area you can see there is a nice cute couch here and all these pretty filament bulbs everywhere then over here you have the dining area which is a nice uh, the dining room is also very nicely done and then outside you have this terrace or balcony kind of a sit out you see it's massive it's massive you can just sit here chill watch the sunrise sunset i don't know what direction this is but like either of the two and the best part i'm going to show you my room okay this is how it looks from the outside can you see this 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 is the roof and this is the entrance okay are you ready Tada! This is my room, and that's my roomie Pradnya. Can you see? Say hi. <laughs> that's my roomie Pradnya, and this is the bed. Look at the roof with all of these like pretty bulbs. And wait for us. We haven't even gotten to the best part yet. Look at the view. Just look at the view. so we checked into our rooms uh, freshened up a little bit and now we have left the property to explore a little bit so we're actually in the in a very like crowded sort of area in kohima we are walking around uh, now we are walking to one of the really nice cafes here in kohima i think it's called arura cafe or something so we are just walking the streets here are like super steep You are out of breath just climbing up from the uh, property uh, road. So uh, we we'll, yeah go to the cafe. It's already evening. It's getting dark. So that's probably the only thing we're gonna be able to do this evening. Uh, we're gonna grab a bite there and chill with the rest of the group. Get to know uh, the rest of the group actually. So here we are. We have come to this really cute cafe called Cafe Aurora. <laughs> Look, she's so sweet. Tell us a little, a little something about the cafe. Hello, ma'am. Since how long has the cafe been here? Me or like cafe? The cafe. The cafe. Almost ten years. Ten years. Okay. Yes, ma'am. And what's the special food or drink that you okay. can try here? Uh, combo special or uh, our pizza? You can try. Okay, okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay, all right. What's Thank your you. name? My name is Naomi. Naomi. Hi. Yes. Thank you, Naomi. Okay. Hi, it's day two in Nagaland. Good morning, and look at the weather. It's cloudy. It's misty. It's beautiful. The most romantic weather possible. We are just heading out. Hey guys, are you ready for the day? <laughs> Hi guys. 
uh, so we left from Kohima and uh, this was about an hour, hour and a half. Beautiful drive and we have arrived in Konoma and uh, actually honestly I'm totally clueless about what this place is. I just know it's uh, it has some heritage importance so we are going to talk to the guide and find out what this place is all about. But the weather has been so beautiful throughout. You can see how cloudy and misty and nice and raining and it's not raining too much so it's not bad uh, that way but the weather is just so romantic and so beautiful firstly welcome everyone to Konoma village Hi. yeah this is the first green village in Asia on the forest that you see around uh, the villages yeah we been hunting we've been forest fire we've been collecting of all those wild things and because of that uh, it was recognized by the government of india and then was given a scheme in the year 20, 2005 uh, and then with the scheme all these footpaths were also constructed when you go you'll see more of the sceneries of the village when you go to this village it's built on a hilltop so at the foot of the village you'll see different things you go a little bit higher another thing new new things as you go further in a day approximately nine to ten groups of tourists come there are some big groups as well some will be solo travelers some will come for uh, their research as well mm -hmm. so these are our step cultivation or we call it the terrace okay. terrace fields for petty plantation uh, we do the planting in the month of june and then harvest in it in the month of october and then once the har uh, patties are harvested the rice are harvested we bring in garlic after the garlics are harvested we plant potatoes so now we see the potatoes so once the potatoes are harvested we'll start planting patties so we also do crop rotation in this yeah in this cultivable in this terrace field when you go up a little bit higher or those clear pages in between the jungles those are our June cultivation shifting slash and burn so those in those areas we mainly cultivate maize potatoes cabbage garlic beans peas chili and all and more of vegetables uh, the people who reside in this village are mainly the old people and then the young students since we only have school of up to class 10 in this village so yeah after class 10 they need to go outside so almost all the youths are outside. The main festival, the most prominent one for this village festival is the Sepenyi. It's a festival of purification. Back then, there is no uh, other religion. There is just one that we believe is animism. Yeah, yeah. Back then, yeah, yeah. But now, the the whole village are Christians now. Yeah, hundred percent is Christians now. Animism is like we. Animism is believe in a spirit, obviously, but we don't know what the spirit is. Yeah, we don't know what the what takes care of us, but we still believe that there is someone, there is a spirit that takes care of care of everything. Yeah. Before the coming of Christianity, when we believe in animism and all, the ladies are supposed to shave their head before if you are yet to get married. Once you get married, you can start growing your hair. And for the males, they'll grow their hair, but they'll cut not this, not like our sir's hairstyles like here. We'll just cut a mega round cut here, yeah, like a ball that is put on our head. For Jeho, welcome to Konama. <laughs> that's that's our guide. Uh, he's uh, showing us around and giving us a lot of insights Hi. on the history and culture of Konoma. What's your name? Can you introduce yourself? Yeah, I'm Zetso uh, from this village, from Konoma village. This is our tomb over here. Yes, uh, it's a tomb. So what we have is like we, even though someone in the family passed passes away, we always we always want them to be near us. So we don't want them to be taken far away from us. So as long as we have land. In near our house, we bury them just next to the house. Yeah, uh, the village is mainly divided into three main parts. The, we call it the Mehama part, Mehama chill, the Semoma chill, and then the Tevoma chill. So all the all the chills have their own fort, construct their own fort. These forts are mainly made because of war, so they cannot move freely. So they connect one another through the tunnels. And below this, we have a room. That room is mainly for the women and children. So the women and children will, from of the village will be brought and then kept in the room. Yeah, and then will be guarded by the youths in this fort. This fort is also 
regarded as one described as one of the strongest fort in the northeast by Major John Butler. Yeah, as you see down here. Yeah. Yeah. No, th this is the fort reconstruction. So we construct the British demolish it. We reconstruct the British as demolish it. Yes. Yes. For the coming of all these modern institutions, modern schools, this is our school. So, yeah, this is the place where everything is being taught. During winter, this is the fireplace, so they make fire here and then sit around. Yeah, <coughs> and then discuss the matters that are going in the village. So anything that is taken from this place is final and binding. No changes were made after that. And outside, you see a round sitting place. That is the outer institution so during the day or during morning meetings and all all those were done in that round sitting place it's a local made gun which is made from this village itself okay yeah, this big one and it's still functioning yeah this is made from this one of our villager itself now th these are corns uh, drying for cultivation again and this is the nest of a king hornet bee the biggest variety of bee that is found in our area and when you go to the next, uh, of beyond this, you, you'll see a morung. Morung, a sleeping bed, mainly for the male youth. So once a boy reaches the age of puberty, he, he is compelled to come and sleep in that bed. Only during the night, when morning comes, he can move out from the, that and go to his family, have his own food, and then go work in their own field. But when night comes, he will come back to this bed and then sleep over here. When he comes he, again, they will be taught about different arts again. On handicrafts, war, running society, running. And then only after he gets married, he can move out from this place and then start his own family. This is the main bed and this is their pillow. Apart from this, they will not be given any other pillow. Okay, this wooden piece. If they were given very comfortable pillows, they will fall deep asleep. And even though if news, even if reports are given to them, they will not be able to wake up. So everything is done by hand. Oh. Yeah. So we put the rice here. And, and then found it using yeah, that, okay. Using I've uh, spent the entire morning today exploring this beautiful village of Konoma and it's so, so beautiful. Like, uh, it's... Uh, it's situated on an incline. The houses are very, very different. The materials with which they've been built is like not even wood. It's, it looks something of uh, the sort of wicker. And uh, so I've been wanting to go to Indonesia for the longest time to see the rice terraces. And here I got such a beautiful view of the rice terraces. So uh, all these uh, terrace fields that you can see behind me, it's actually there. Uh, that's their uh, means of sustenance so they basically produce their own um, vegetables and rice and all of that so <laughs> So after exploring the village of Konoma, we stopped for a meal. Uh, it was like a very basic local uh, meal of dal chawal, aloo sabzi. There was a chicken broth sort of a thing which was super tasty. And we had lemon tea. And by the time we got done with lunch, it has started raining. So we've uh, got our raincoats and umbrellas out. And we are actually trying to climb down to one of the rice terrace uh, farms. Uh, so we're kind of climbing down. We're going to take a walk. Okay, we are super close. You can see the rice terraces behind me. This is so pretty, guys. Like, it's very zyada pretty. Hai. These are green. Like, it's so soothing to the eyes. So many different shades of green. So many of them. And the weather is just beautiful. So cloudy, misty. I hope you enjoyed this episode of my adventures across Nagaland. Don't forget to tune in to the next episode because in the next one, I take you across the stunning Zuku Valley. And until then, please, please, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. It would really help me out.